In order to penetrate dangerous breach operations on the battlefield, soldiers and marines have risked their limb and life. However, thanks to the recent rapid development on technology, there has been a new solution to prevent the soldiers from encountering risky situations. The answer to this solution is no other than the monstrous robotic assault breacher vehicle, or ABV. A heavy battlefield bulldozer constructed to blow off minefields and eliminate other obstacles. So what really is this robotic vehicle, and what capability does it have? Based on the M1 Abrams chassis, M1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle, ABV, is a U.S. military mine and explosive clearing machinery equipped with line charges and a mine plow. The joint partnership between the International Security Assistance Force and Afghanistan in Operation Mashtarak during a war in 2010 against Taliban insurgency marked an important event where M1150 was first largely used. These mobile, sophisticatedly armored minefield and obstacle clearing vehicles have traditionally been handled by a crew of two. Essentially, ABV is an M1 Abrams tank that has encountered upgrade with improvements in its armor and had its turret changed with either a mine plow or a combat dozer blade, which is capable of clearing a path for other equipment. Breach operation is one of the worst missions for soldiers because every gun, cannon, missile, or bullet is going to be aimed at the breach. Hence, the U.S. Army has been seriously looking for robotic systems with the skill to smash through every breach so that manned vehicles and soldiers can go through. The main plan here is to get the troops out. That is a very dangerous point to put soldiers and marines, especially when dealing with explosive obstacles, First Lieutenant David Agakan, ABV platoon commander, commented in a statement, adding the variants of new robotic systems provide them the alternative to bring the operator out of the vehicle and at the same time still push that machinery through the lane, allowing the mobility for follow-on forces. In the recent tests of the robotic ABVs, they were supported by a robotic Polaris MRZR vehicle with the capacity of creating smoke screens and suppression fire units, which in reality might be either manned or unmanned. What about the history of M1150 ABV? The Assault Breacher Vehicle, or ABV, is the United States' most recent combat engineering vehicle, or CEV, as of 2018. It is based on the hull of the M1 Abrams, the U.S. military's current main battle tank. CEVs were popularized by the British during World War II, with the AVRE, Armored Vehicle Royal Engineers, and similar vehicles have been used by every major army since then. The ABV is the first of its kind to see service with the U.S. military, since the M60-based 728 CEV was retired in the mid to late 1990s, and its direct predecessor, the remotely operated M1 Abrams-based M1 Panther II, was retired in the late 2000s. The ABV was created to meet the United States Marine Corps' requirement for a new CEV capable of clearing safe routes for traffic and infantry through minefields, obstacles, roadside bombs, and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. The U.S. military was developing an Abrams-based CEV to replace the M728 in the late 1990s. This was dubbed the Grizzly, on the other hand, the Army also decided to halt all development of costly, complicated, and high-maintenance CEVs. As a result, the Grizzly program was terminated in 2001, with only one prototype completed. Alternatively, the U.S. Marine Corps persisted in funding the development of the ABV themselves. Six vehicles, prototypes, and pre-production models were built for testing between 2002 and 2006. The ABV, more often known simply as the Breacher, eventually completed its development in 2008. Following the first action in 2009 in Afghanistan, it formally entered service in 2010. Now let's take a look at the design of the Breacher. The 72-ton, 15-meter-long vehicles are mainly based on the M1 Abrams tank with 1,500 horsepower engines. However, it is fitted with a .50 cal machine gun and a front-mounted 4.5-meter-wide plow complemented by metallic skis that glide on the dirty landscape and armed with almost 3,175 kilograms of explosives. 
The M1150 breachers were specifically built to free pathways for soldiers and other vehicles through minefields, roadside bombs, as well as contrived explosive devices. On the other hand, the vehicles are also equipped with Linear Demolition System, LDCS, which is rocket systems carrying C4 bombs up to 100 to 150 yards forward. The LDCS can detonate hidden explosives at a relatively safe distance, so that troops and vehicles are able to get through unharmed. Looking through its superstructure, the latest explosive reactive armor package has been installed on it. This allows a higher level of protection against the anti-tank weaponry, such as RPG rounds. Heavily armored, the breaching vehicle is known for its ability to withstand different damages. The breacher is powered by a 1500 horsepower Honeywell AGT-1500 gas turbine engine. It is a multi-fuel engine that can operate on kerosene, diesel, gasoline, or aviation fuel. It has significantly longer service intervals than diesel engines, but it is difficult to maintain and has very high fuel consumption when compared to diesels. In field conditions, the engine can be replaced in 30 minutes. During combat operations, this armored engine vehicle has the speed and mobility to keep up with the Abrams tanks. The assault breacher vehicle is also capable of extreme traversing. Lastly, we are going to learn about the operational history of the vehicle. On the morning of December 3, 2009, Marines used breachers in combat for the first time when they pushed into the Taliban stronghold Nauzad during Operation Cobra's Anger in Helmand province, on their way to another Taliban stronghold, Marja, 610 kilometers southwest of Kabul, which was to be attacked in February 2010. According to a December 2009 report, there were five ABVs in Afghanistan at the time, and the U.S. Marines were said to have plans to field a total of 52 by 2012, of which approximately 34 had already been produced. The United States Army was said to have ordered 187. Six ABVs were delivered to the Korean Peninsula in August 2013 for use by the 2nd Infantry Division, 2ID, to provide the capability for deliberate and calmly breaching of minefields and complicated obstacles. The ABVs would allow the 2ID to clear the heavily mined Korean demilitarized zone, believed to have tens of thousands to millions of mines. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next episode.